Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to Wizard Training on the Cup Code server. As always, I am your humble host, Mages96. I really need to put something in that that item frame back there. Hmm. What I'm really waiting what I'm waiting for is I want to put a clock in there. So I'm gonna have to build a clock. Alright, last episode we went ahead and we made some animal pens. We we got some chickens lined up over here. Look at that. Ain't they nice? And then I, from an anonymous benefactor, sent us a whole bunch of chicken eggs, and as usual, they're found, find themselves clucking up over in the corner. Chickens just don't make sense to that. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go in there, we're going to get them off that corner, and we're going to fix it so they can't get stuck in that corner again. And the easiest way that I know to stick them out of that corner is to put something else in the corner. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's go do that real quick. Makes I, it, it, That's just one of the things about Minecraft. It never made sense, but it's because chickens are so much smaller. Guys, I need you out of the corner. All right, shoot. Uh, I didn't bring any seeds in here with me. Okay, look. Do I have to kill some of you? I need you to move. I need you to move. Move. Move! Seriously? And I know... All right. Whatever. Bye-bye. I don't like having to do this, but it's about the only thing you can do to keep your chickens safe. Hey, you need to get out of there. Whatever. And we'll see if that works, if that keeps them out of the corner. It's unsightly, but it, but to my knowledge, I believe that actually works. So we'll, we'll see. And this guy is still stuck in that corner. So here's what we're going to do for him. Sorry. No go. I think they can actually still get stuck in there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let them grow. See what happens. All right. Back on what we need, really need to do this episode. Is I need a treasure chest because if you if you notice, I'm currently carrying all my treasures around in my inventory, and that's not a good thing. What is this? Oh. So I want to make myself a treasure chest, but I want the chest. I don't want it just a regular chest. I want it to be different from all the other chests in the room. So first we need to start with the actual treasure chest. I mean, you see, I've been doing some research over here. So I need that, and then I think we need boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I get there, before I get there, I need this. I need one block. So we'll put that right there. Put these guys right there. Throw this chest in the center here. And some iron ingots around the outside edge. There we go. So that gives us a reinforced iron chest, and that will be my treasure chest. It's, it's different from all the other chests. So that way I can use it to store my treasures. Awesome. All right. Now, by treasures, that's, you know, all the stuff that's generally harder to find or we can count it as being worth more. Stuff like that. I'm going to take those torches out of there. That's a tool. I can use that. Um, hang on to that. Now, I don't know what the transformation powder does, guys. I imagine it you give it it was given to me for me to use, but I don't have a clue what it does. So I'm gonna have to look into that one or you can comment below and tell me what it does. I don't know anything about the Twilight Forest. Just being honest. I've never made an attempt to go there. I do know how to get there. I just never made an attempt to go. At least I think I know how to get there. I don't know. All right. Oh, wait. Yep. Keep that out. We don't need that anymore. Let's go outside. I got one more thing I want to definitely want to do today. Uh, we're gonna start with sleep, of course. And because I am the only person on the server that actually works to reset the server, so it's awesome. Let's go check outside. How clear is it out here? Yeah, yep, just one skelly way over there. I think he's okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig up this ground right here. And I want to replace it so it kind of looks even, you know, since I did dig out the ground by the house. Come on, pick it all up, pick it all up. 
Thank you. This shouldn't be too hard. We'll place a witchwood thing right there. Come on over here. Place the witchwood thing right there. And then I think we're going to have to make at least one more stack. There we go. Oh, yeah, it looks a little nicer, I think. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't look like it just kind of got chopped off, you know? Okay, what the heck happened? There we go. It looks like the house was actually built into the side of the, of the thing here. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of mana there. Generating some good mana there. That's good. Oh, yeah, I need to dig up these guys. Living wood, because we need living stone. All right, so now we need to throw some stone around this bad boy. And that'll give us some living stone, because that's pure daisy. That's, a, that's how this stuff works. Let's go ahead and dig these up. We could probably use those later, I'm sure. Awesome. Okay, what are, let's see. What are we doing now? What, do, what else do I need to do? Right, this is all my junk box. I'll throw that over there. We'll throw these over here. You know what? I, I got all these flowers. I need to make them into petals because we're going to be using them as petals, not as flowers. I don't think there's actually any recipes for them as flowers. So kind of makes more sense just to go ahead and change them all in the petals. Do -do. Do -do. I'm pretty sure there's some other flowers we could probably go ahead and make, other than the one that I'm looking to make. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff involved with this one that I want to make. And by the time I get done with this, that living stone should be just about ready, I think. So I'll have to go check down that. All right. All right, I got some petals going. Uh, we've got this living wood over here. I don't know. I guess I'll throw it over here until I actually need it. Uh, we need to get some more organism going on here, but to do that, I think I'm going to have to make me a treasure chamber room. Uh, you know, my storage chamber like I did in the other house. So we'll have to dig a basement for a storage chamber, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these extra torches up here. And let's go check on our living stone. What I say? I told you it'd be done. So we're going to dig up our living stone. And with this, we should be able to make our rune altar. So we need to go get a diamond from our treasure chest. And the server is going to reboot in 10 minutes, which is perfect because I've got about 11 minutes left on my timer. So that's awesome. Actually, probably less because I didn't start the timer when I'm when I was supposed to. Uh, I was late starting the timer again. Oh. Where did you come from? I don't remember you being there. Hmm. No one else on the server. I don't remember plant. Did I plant you? Yeah, I probably did. Okay, well, that's fine. So we're going to throw this guy right in here. And that gives us a mana diamond. We'll be using that soon. Yeah, we'll take that too. Come on. All right, so we've got our mana diamond. Mystical gray flower can go right on up in here with this stuff. I believe with the mana diamond, couldn't I just make the runic altar? I think this is... There it is! Poof! Say, I don't know anything. I know something. <laughs> All right, well, let's go place this runic altar down. We're going to need this to make the runes. I believe this needs mana access. Uh, I might be wrong. I don't know. But I do believe I might also need another mana spreader to point the mana to it. Oh, not real big on where this was built, but it's okay. Okay, we're going to build this. If I point another mana spreader over this way... Will it go down? That's that's going to be something I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to have to figure that one out at some point, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, no, I can, I can aim it down. I, I just don't 
Like the, the, the whole aiming of these mana spreaders, man, they're just it's crap. I'm personally honest with you. All right, so we're gonna point this one down. And I'm gonna try to see if I can't, you know, aim it over to this right here. I, I think that's probably gonna be our best bet. So let's see, mana spreader. How to make a mana spreader? Open up. Thank you. So I need the Lexicopatania for this. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Back, back, you fool. Mana manipulation, a mana spreader. Yeah, we got all that. Give me the recipe. I need gold ingot, six living wood, which I actually have, and one of any color petal. Awesome. So we've got that. Do we have gold? Do we, do we have gold? I do not have gold. I repeat, I do not have gold. We are out of gold. So I'll have to go mining for gold off camera. Because, I mean, you know, I'm not going to go mining for gold on camera. I've done that too many times. And it's just not interesting enough to watch. All right. So we're hung on that. That's good. Well, not good, but that's fine. We're working. We can work with that. Mm. All right. Let's see what flowers we can do. Functional. Let's see, we got the jaded amaranthus I want to make because that'll give us more flowers. Uh, orchid. You know what? We could probably do with an orchid, but that requires smooth stone to generate. Uh, I don't like wasting my coals to make smooth stone. Agricarnation could be used if we're doing gardening, which we're not doing a whole bunch of gardening, so that's fine. Exoflame will generate. Ooh, exoflame! Yes, we that would be a nice one to have. Uh, it takes a lot of runes, though, so uh, we're kind of on hold. Can't generate any runes right now. Actually, I don't think any of these. Functional flowers can be made without runes. Pretty sure they all require runes of some sort. Yeah. So let's get out of functional. Let's go with generating. Now we've got day blooms out there that, that were given to us that we didn't have to produce. So let's check Endoflame, I think is the night one. No. Nightshade. Yes, nightshade. That's the one that does it at night. So to make nightshades, we need black, black, gray, purple. And they're all mystical. So that's perfect. Black, black, gray, purple. So we've got... Look over here. Oh, wrong chest. Black, 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 black. Then we have gray, 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 gray. I do not... Oh, there it is. Gray. One, two, three. So we can make three of these. Okay. And then purple. So that should be enough to make three of them. Uh, we need a bucket. <gasps> no. All right. I don't want to use up my liquid ethereum, so we're just going to make another bucket. I'm going to hang on to that ethereum for a little bit longer. That will give us our bucket for water. And we need seeds for that. I have seeds over here. I really need to stock the seeds in this thing here. Okay. And I need to give myself... That's what I need. That's another thing I need. I need an infinite water source here in the house. So I don't have to go running out here to get water every time I want to make, make a plant. That's just silly. And I guess it's like it does in the old days. In the old days, you'd have to go running outside to, to make a plant. So, all right, all right. Quit, quit with the lag. All right, so. Black, black, gray, purple, see. Oh, wait, water. Fill me up there, maestro. Black, black, gray, purple, see. All right, we got two of them. Now I need some more water. the water. I'm going to laugh if I go to do that one day and accidentally pour the water on my door. 
It's going to be hilarious. Black, black, gray, purple, C. All right, so now we got three of these. So now we're going to start generating mana at night as well. So that's awesome. Now I'm just going to take these right on up here. And... Oh, you know, that's another thing is I need... I need the... Um... I need the wand. I don't have a wand. So we're going to have to get a wand going. So we need a wand. Open that up. Let's get that lexicon of Batania back out. Where, where did I put it? There it is. Lexica Batania. We need the wand. That's the only thing I have, do not have. So let's go up here, which is the wand of the forest. I believe three sticks and two petals. Yep, that's what I thought. Easy enough. I just keep forgetting. Two. All right. And we need two petals of any color. So what colors? What colors do I want? You know what? Let's go with a white. And a blue. I think that'll look awesome. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do white and a blue. We're going to take one, two, three. White and a blue. Let's go with the white up front. Yeah, there we go. Poof. Now we've got our wand of the forest. And we can use this to make sure that... See, yeah, so that's telling us where it's sending the power to. Awesome. So we now have p power generation at night as well as during the day. So that's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And we'll have to get some more of these nightshades going. Uh, probably need to get some more day blooms rolling up in this joint, too. Yeah, see, there we go. And let's just check this. Wow, we're like almost a quarter of the way with the mana pool. That's awesome. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode of Wizard Training on the Cupcoat server.